What is going on guys? Newton here with MMO Play, bringing you a first look and impressions video into Tynan, a free-to-play browser-based MMORPG. Now here I am, I just logged into the game, kind of ran through the tutorial real quick to kind of get a feel for the game, and we kind of made our way into the main town, and we're going to run around, check the game out, see some of the features, and check out the combat. So right off the bat, bat, the game has a pretty nice interface, a pretty standard interface for most browser-based MMORPGs. Um, there's no combat bar right here, because the combat system is a little bit different. It's a turn-based, instance-based combat, if that makes sense. I'll kind of show you guys briefly in a moment. But, basically, we're in the main town. You can see we got a ton of players going on. I got a few quests going on, which is basically getting me a feel for the game. So, we have the armor merchant over here. So, we're going to go talk to her, pick up a piece of armor. Let's go ahead and pick this up. There we go, we'll go ahead and equip that, and we power it up, so the higher your power level over here is, the stronger your party is, or um, the stronger you hit and do combat and stuff like that in instances while you're fighting other monsters. So, we're going to go ahead and meet the armor merchant over here, we met her, so that's pretty good, now we're going to go talk to Laura over here, alright, so it seems like we completed her quest, we're going to go ahead and quest complete, got some experience for that, some XP. And we're going to go on to the next quest. Let's see. We'll go ahead and talk to the hunter. So basically, it's just a lot of running around. A lot of getting used to the main town early on. And a bunch of other stuff like that. So there we go. We've just completed that quest. And now I have a horse. I've kind of joined the bandwagon of everybody else running around in this white mighty steed over here, which is pretty cool. I like that. The art style for this game is really nice. I really do enjoy it. And I believe we're going to go over here and talk to some more people. And hopefully, we'll jump right into some combat. And I can kind of explain how that works. So basically, combat goes on. You join a little instance, and you're gonna find different uh, different monsters that'll jump on you, and you're gonna go into like a turn-based styled combat. And as you do that, you kind of have uh, your team with you. So we can go ahead and click on heroes. Um, let's go back over here. Let's go click on heroes, and we have different heroes or people that have joined our team over here, as you can see. So it is not just you alone fighting battles and stuff like that. You also have partners and stuff like that, each one playing a different role with different stats to them. You could equip them with different gear, which is really cool. I like that. Adds a little bit more depth to the game instead of uh, your guy just kind of pumbling or fighting it out with a bunch of other monsters. So you can see we got a different guy over here. He has different uh, stats and there's healers, there's tanks. There's a bunch of different roles, so it's pretty cool. You can kind of collect them and adjust your team varied on uh, varied on the battle and so on. So we're going to go ahead and talk to the guy over here, complete this quest. Everything's really, really simple, leveled up to level 7. Early leveling is extremely quick in the game, doesn't take too long, like most browser-based MMOs. And it wants us to click on Arena, so we're going to go ahead and click that, and basically go click this over here. And there we go, we're kind of jumping into the combat, checking it out. And it kind of shows you how it works. So, we're fighting this guy over here, we're doing a pretty good job taking him out. We're dealing quite a bit of damage, they're not dealing too much damage back to us. And they're attacking my, they're attacking me, attacking my horse, dude. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and attack him. We took him out. Oh, he's actually taking us out. So we're not doing too good right now. We're not doing too good. They're taking us out. Uh, this guy's almost low, but this guy, and we died. All right. So we got a regrettable defeat. That's all right. We're gonna go ahead and hit OK. And let's go see if we can fight someone else. Let's see if we can exit here. Let's see if we completed the quest. All right, we completed the quest. So I guess it didn't matter if we won or lost. But that's kind of how the combat works. Hopefully we can jump into some uh, fighting some monsters instead of people. So we can fight people more uh, more our level or a little bit weaker. So we can win some fights. Because it's not fun watching me lose all the time. So let's see. We got some other stuff over here. And we got a title. So that's pretty cool. We got a different title that we just upgraded. And we're going to hit deploy, and we're going to continue. All right. Oh, we got to talk to this guy again. Turn in this quest. Quest accepted. And we got to go talk to some more people. So a lot of early early questing is really just a ton of work running around the main quest. But that's as expected from most early on in gameplay for MMO. So leveling up really quick. And let's see. we got to help a Don Village. All right, so we got to click on Heroes. It's telling us Stars Upgrade. So it's just having us upgrade our character real quick. We're going to go ahead and cancel. We already did that. And we're going to go help the villager. So we're just running around. I really don't like the auto walking feature for most um, browser based games. I feel like you just can click the quest and a game will kind of play itself for you. I'm really into exploring and stuff like that uh, when it comes to games. But I, I guess it's kind of a give or take whether you like the um, auto rooting feature. 
but it's kind of up to you. So here we are. I completed this first area over here, which is a tutorial. And now we're going to go join this different area. We're going to fight some monsters, and eventually there'll be a boss at the end of the battle. Hopefully it's not too bad, which it shouldn't be. So we're going to go hop right into there and do that. All right, so here we are. We need to go We need to go help the Don Village. We're going to go ahead and auto-click that, run over here, and get right in there. All right, so the quest is complete. Oh, I guess we already helped them. That's, that was fairly simple. But all right, we leveled up to level 9, and we got to rescue the villagers. All right, so we're going to keep running over here. As you can see, there's a lot of enemies around the area that are kind of chasing us. And when they kind of get near you, this is kind of the combat that you hop into. So as you can see, the monsters are not too difficult. They're not hard at all. I hope there will be some progression of difficulty later on in the game, which I assume there will be. But early on, it is extremely simple. So we're going to hit, hit OK. And we're going to go continue on trying to rescue the villager. Got some more battles over here. We're just one-hitting these guys. Really not a challenge. Dealing very minimal damage to our mage. And we just we just electrocuted him to death. All right. So we're going to keep running along. Ooh, there's a chest over here. There we go. We got some money for it. But we got to fight another dude. Not too difficult for taking this guy. I really like this guy's attack because he just has a flaming punch. and pretty much one-hits everybody. There we go. We're going to hit OK. Leveled up once again. And we need to go back and continue rescuing the villager. Hopefully we'll come up on a boss soon. We Maybe we'll find a difficult boss fight. So let's see. We'll find out. Going here. Ooh, there's a mysterious door. And let's see. Quest. Okay, we'll claim the quest. A little bit more dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue in the game. So I'm assuming there's a really good story that goes along with the gameplay. So if you guys are interested in the story, I mean, you can go ahead and take the time to read it. But I'm kind of trying to run through all of this to really show you a good gist of the game. So let's see, hopefully we'll come up on a boss soon. Let's see if we can avoid these guys, keep running. Instead of auto um, rooting, I'm just gonna keep clicking and try to skip all these guys real quick. Let's see if we can go over here. Oh, the portal is seems like it's over here, so maybe we do have to kill all these guys. Let's go ahead and quickly do that, seeing as though they really don't take much time. Engaging in battle, which is taking a little while. I don't know why it's low, there we go. So we went ahead and connected, it took a little while to connect. So we're just taking these out one shot, all once again. And Cloud Burst, yeah, we electrocuted them. So it seems like they're kind of the same rotation every time. So hopefully if there's more stuff going on, we can kind of see some different skills and different stuff coming out from our, our different players. And in the game, you can have up to nine heroes join your army, which is pretty cool. So all we have now is three. So like I said, there's really a good opportunity to collect a lot of allies and really kind of um, adjust your army or party according accordingly so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna pick up the six thousand coins because who doesn't like free money and let's go see we're gonna go take this guy out not really too much of a challenge going on right here these guys are really really easy it's kind of boring but um we're gonna go ahead and continue i really want to get to the boss to show you guys because some of the bosses i mean the artwork to the bosses are really cool i have enjoyed it so let's see let's go ahead and clear oh we have to clear all the zombies before we can clear save the villagers so that's all right I guess we'll just continue taking these guys out. Eh, it seems like these guys can kind of take a hit. They're not all dying one hit now. So it seems like the difficulty is going up just a little bit. Their damage is not too high, but still we can take them out with ease. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to go claim our rewards. A little bit more dialogue. And there we go. All right, we need the help of the captain. All right, let's go find out where the captain is. Oh, we unlocked the portal over here, so that's good. We can continue, and hopefully we're coming up in the boss. I'm really excited, because I really do enjoy um, the concept art and the style to this game. So lots of the bosses of the game are really, really cool. So let's go ahead and over here, and it seems like there's still quite a bit of ways before we're going. So I want to go ahead and finish up this fight and probably wrap up the video, because just because it takes a little bit too long. But I really wanted to show you guys basically the combat in the main town and kind of little features around the game. So there we go. We have one again. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.